Kirk Johnson here, president of the BMW Motorrad Club of Northern Illinois, just bringing you another uh, quick do-it-yourself video on the LT. So this is for the uh, BMW K1200 LT. Uh, the final drive, actually it happens with any of this type of final drive, it doesn't matter if it's an LT or not. Uh, all of them have these really poorly designed, quick to wear out bearings. Um, what happens here is, you know, these are held in with a lot of force and this thing has almost no movement when it's, when it's going up and down, you know, when, it, when you're traveling. So it just sits there and just kind of vibrates just a little bit and it creates these notches in the, uh, in, in the bearing race. Hopefully you can see that on the video. Kind of see those notches there just a little bit. Anyways, they create kind of a, well, that notchy feeling. And I guess if they wear out, if they just continue to wear and they keep getting worse and worse, uh, eventually the, the final drive will kind of go out of the line and you could probably start rubbing your tire into the, uh, into the swing arm on the thing. So the fix is to change them. Now in order to change them, you got to get the, this yoke out of here. And you can do that just by going after it here and prying against it and it will pop out. Well that came out awfully easy. Uh, the ring's still in there so looks okay. Anyway, now you see on this one here there's, there's some uh, oil leaking on this. You can kind of see it in here. On this particular unit there's some grease here, or I mean some uh, gear lube. That's really not too big of a deal on this particular model. The biggest one is the uh, the bearing that's up inside, up inside here. As long as this one doesn't start leaking, this one's not that much of a deal. Unless it really just goes completely out of whack. So in order to get this this bearing out of here, you got to do is you got to drive essentially put a uh, Take this all the way off. Usually, it's only the one side that goes bad. Uh, I don't. I don't know that it's really all that necessary to change these in pairs. Uh, this one is. It's a little notchy, but I, I think I'd let this one go. The problem is, you know, with these bikes, as you as you all know from buying these expensive motorcycles, that the parts are equally as expensive, if not more so. And this stupid little bearing, this damn little bearing here costs $70 from BMW. What a joke. You know, what, why? Why does this bearing have to cost 70 bucks? It's a 70 cent item. But they charge 70 bucks and they've got the lock on it because there is nowhere else to get them. There's somebody that made some kind of a bushing or something that goes in here, a bronze bushing. Um, but that wears out too, and it's uh, it's just as expensive, if not more so. So you're really hosed when it comes to buying these. So I, if if you don't have to change both sides, don't. So we're gonna take a uh, uh, an extension, half inch extension, go through this side, and you just want to find a uh, a socket or something that that is the same size as that bearing, so you can knock it out. No, we're just going to tap that one out now. Starting to go. There it goes. Get the new one and just pop this one apart make sure we get it right the first time so the the taper end points in as you know if you're looking at it this way they look pretty much the same
Now you could put this in a vise and press this in. Probably probably would be a pretty good move to press this in. Okay, back from the vise, it's all pressed in. Good to go back on the bike. Yeah, if you got a big vise, it's probably best to use that. If you don't, just make sure that this backside is resting against something hard and, and then tap it in. Anyway, thanks for watching.